X at the ox. Ox reads. Ox, ox, ox. Ox reads. Ox, ox, ox. Ox reads. Ax Addy Ox found his missing blue tennis shoe all right. Ax Addy Ox's shoe had been left on the stairway, and Ax Addy Ox tripped over it and tumbled down the stairs. Doctor Hexter Ax Clacks Clacks examined Ax Addy Ox. Ax Addy Ox was an excellent example of God's care. Ax Addy Ox was okay. Ex Eddie Ox was thankful he was all right because he was very anxious to go on a hike in a cave with Father Ox the next weekend. At last, the big day came. It was finally Saturday, the start of the weekend. Bright and early, Father Ox and Ex Eddie Ox left for the cave. Father Ox and Ex Eddie Ox were both wearing packs on their backs and red and white checked neck scarves on their necks. Father and Ex Eddie Ox each carried one of the walking sticks Father Ox had chopped with his axe. When they got to the cave, Ex Eddie Ox squatted down on all four hooves and looked inside. It's, it's. Ex Eddie Ox took a deep breath. It's dark in there, Father Ox. Oh yes, Ex Eddie Ox said. Father Ox, it is dark inside caves. That is why I have my lantern along. Ex Eddie Ox let out a deep breath. Oh, I'm very glad you brought the lantern, Father Ox. Ex and the ox watch as Father Ox carefully lighted the little wax candle inside the lantern. Father Ox used one of the match sticks from his little box of matches. Always be extremely careful around fire, Ex and the ox. Remember that children should never play with matches. Father Ox reminded his son, "Matches are not toys." Yes, Father Ox nodded. Ex Eddie Ox, I promise never to play with matches. Ex Eddie Ox carefully followed Father Ox into the cave. After a while, Ex Eddie Ox noticed the air was getting cooler and cooler. Ex Eddie Ox was thankful he had worn his brown coat of short hair. Before long. Father Ox stopped in front of Ex Eddie Ox. Look, look, Ex Eddie Ox. You will see how beautiful it is inside this cave. Father Ox began pointing to the beautiful rocks inside the cave. See the tall stacks of rocks. See the big cracks in some of the stacks. Some rocks are hanging down from the roof like icicles. Extraordinary," said Ex Eddie Ox excitedly. "I see big rocks and little rocks. I see big stacks and little stacks. I see big cracks and little cracks. I see rock icicles." "I knew you would like this cave," said Father Ox with a smile. "Do you see these pretty shiny rocks, Ex Eddie Ox? These rocks are called..." Onyx rocks. Perhaps you would like to carry some small onyx rocks home with you today. Extraordinary! Exclaimed Ex Eddie Ox as he sat down and began to take off one of his socks. Wow! Ex Eddie Ox 
said Father Ox. Why are you taking off one of your socks? Well, Father Ox, ex Eddie Ox explained, I need something in which to carry my onyx rocks. I will use one of my socks as a little bag for my rocks. Father Ox chuckled. <laughs> your idea is extraordinary, finished ex Eddie Ox laughing with Father Ox. Just then, Father Ox and ex Eddie Ox came to a pretty waterfall deep inside the cool cave. The waterfall had leaks. The water was leaking through the cracks in the stacks of rocks. The water made little creeks along the rocky trail in the cave. I'm glad I found my blue tennis shoe, Father Ox, said Eddie Ox, so I won't sleep on these wet rocks. Father Ox and ex Eddie Ox went a little further down the cave trail. All along the way, ex Eddie Ox kept putting little rocks in his sock. Soon, they came to some flat, dry rocks. Let's sit down on these flat, dry rocks and rest for a while, ex Eddie Ox, said Father Ox. We must not get tired and exhausted. We will need energy to walk back out of the cave too. Father Ox and ex Eddie Ox sat down. Let's see just how quiet it is in a cave, said ex Eddie Ox. Father Ox was quiet. Ex Eddie Ox was quiet. Father Ox listened. Ex Eddie Ox listened. It was very, very, very quiet in the cave. Now, said Father Ox, let's see how just how dark it is in a cave. Okay, said ex Eddie Ox as he moved over to sit extra close to Father Ox. Father Ox let ex Eddie Ox blow out the wax candle in the lantern. And it was dark. It was very, very, very dark. Extraordinary, said ex Eddie Ox in a very small voice. It is so dark I can't see my own hoof. I can't see a thing. Just a moment, ex Eddie Ox, said Father Ox. I will see where I put my extra box of matchsticks. Good, <laughs> said ex Eddie Ox with a very small laugh. Good, because I am not excited about how dark it is down here. Ex Eddie Ox felt Father Ox bumping around in the dark, trying to fill in each of his pockets for the extra matchsticks. I cannot find the box of extra matchsticks, said Father Ox. Well, Father Ox, said ex Eddie Ox quietly. I'm not so sure this is so extraordinary after all.